Have you noticed how the energy in a room shifts when your name comes up? Suddenly, the air feels heavy, conversations pause, and people struggle to find their words. That's because your name is not ordinary. Your name carries a divine weight, and it's sending shockwaves through those around you. This message is for the chosen ones. God is revealing the reason behind the unease you've been sensing, the reason people are speechless when they think of you. Your name is carrying the weight of your spiritual purpose, and it's causing a stir that can't be ignored. Understand this, the weight of your name is no accident. It's part of your sacred journey, a calling that's written in the stars. Chosen ones, have you ever wondered why certain people react so strongly when your name is brought up? It's not just about who you are in the physical world, it's about the spiritual power your name carries. There's a weight behind your name, a power that transcends ordinary human perception. When your name is spoken, it sends vibrations through the spiritual realm, stirring energies that make people uncomfortable, that unease they feel. It's not because of you, personally, but because of the divine purpose attached to you. Your name is more than a label. It's a mark of your calling. Since the day you were chosen, your name has been intertwined with a higher mission. This is why people who used to see you as ordinary are now left speechless. They might not understand it, but their spirits sense that something is different about you. Your name triggers something within them, a recognition of the power you've stepped into. And that power, it cannot be ignored. This isn't about reputation or fame. Some of the most spiritually powerful people in history weren't widely known by the world, but their names carried weight in the heavens. Your name has the same effect. It's not about how many people know you. It's about who knows your name and the authority that comes with it. When your name is mentioned in the spiritual realm, it carries the authority of your calling. And that's why people can't stay neutral when it comes to you. As you grow spiritually, this weight increases. Those who were once comfortable around you now find themselves struggling to maintain composure. They can't place it, but they feel it. It's like trying to breathe in thin air. They sense the shift, but can't quite grasp what it means. And so they fall silent. They used to talk freely about you, but now they're tongue-tied. That's because the divine authority attached to your name is confronting their own spiritual stagnation. You must understand that this power is not given lightly. God has ordained your path, and with it comes the responsibility of carrying a name that disrupts the status quo. Your presence alone is a challenge to others' comfort zones. They sense that you are walking in purpose, that you've ascended beyond the limits they placed on you, and it scares them. Your very existence is a threat to those who haven't yet discovered their own power. But here's the warning. Don't get distracted by their discomfort. Your journey isn't about them. Their reactions, whether it's silence, avoidance, or awkwardness, are just side effects of the spiritual power you now wield. You are meant to shake things up, to be a catalyst for change, whether others accept it or not. Keep your focus on your path because the weight of your name will only increase as you step further into your divine calling, chosen ones. Think back to those moments when people who knew you well began to treat you differently. It wasn't about something you said or did. It was your essence that had transformed. They couldn't articulate it, but they felt it. This shift is a reflection of the spiritual growth you've experienced. Like a seed that sprouted and broken through the surface of the earth, your name is now casting a long shadow, and that shadow brings light to some and discomfort to others. Remember, even in ancient times, names held significant meaning. They were symbols of destiny and power. When someone called upon a name, they invoked the full force of that individual's purpose. And now, when people speak your name, they're calling forth the spiritual authority you carry. This isn't just about acknowledgement. It's about recognition of a higher calling that transcends human understanding. Chosen Ones October is the month of vindication, this is not a time for small movements. This is a season of massive spiritual shifts. Your name is creating pressure, and you may not even realize it yet. Think of it like this. When you look in the mirror every day, you don't see the small changes that happen over time. But take a step back, and suddenly the transformation is undeniable. The same is true for your spiritual journey. 
While you may not always see how much you've grown, those around you can feel it in ways you might not expect. Your spiritual power has expanded in ways that are making people uncomfortable. They may not say it out loud, but they feel it. They sense the vindication that's already begun in your life. What they once dismissed as unimportant, they now recognize as significant. They can't pinpoint it, but they know something has changed, and it's shaking the very foundation of how they view you. Think of it this way. Your spiritual growth is like an unseen force that's pressing on the atmosphere around you. Even those who once doubted you are feeling the pressure. They see that the path you're walking is divinely ordained, and it's making them question their own lives. You may not have realized it, but God has been working behind the scenes, setting things in motion for your vindication. And this vindication isn't just for you. It's for the glory of God. Every person who doubted you, who spoke against you, or who tried to block your path is now being silenced. They see the fruit of your faithfulness and they're left in awe. The irony is, they never expected to witness your rise. They thought their words could hold you down, but instead their silence is now the loudest testament to your success. As you walk through this season of vindication, it's important to stay focused on your journey. Don't get caught up in trying to prove anything to anyone. God has already done that for you. The evidence of your transformation is undeniable. Their silence, their hesitation, their avoidance, it's all proof that the vindication has already begun. Here's the thing. God doesn't need you to defend yourself. He's already spoken on your behalf. Your name is being carried by the winds of destiny, and those who once mocked you are now speechless. Their pride won't let them admit it. But deep down they know they were wrong. And you? You don't have to lift a finger to prove them otherwise. Your rise speaks for itself. In ancient times, vindication wasn't just a personal triumph. It was a spiritual declaration. Prophets, kings and sages who faced opposition always knew that their greatest battles were not fought with words or swords, but with time. God moves in his own time, and now your season has arrived. Those who doubted your path, who thought they could define your limits, are watching as the reality of your calling unfolds before their eyes. Think of this as your spiritual harvest season. The seeds you've sown in faith, in perseverance, and in quiet strength are now blossoming into visible proof of God's promises. The same people who questioned you will now witness the manifestation of your blessings. They are left with no choice but to stand in awe and that silence is the loudest testimony to the work God is doing through you. Chosen ones, there's no denying it. Your name is bringing pressure. Whether you realize it or not, your presence alone is creating waves. Your name, your success, your resilience, it's making people uncomfortable. And that discomfort, it's not a bad thing. In fact, it's a sign that you're walking in your purpose. Here's the thing. You don't have to say a word. Your actions are speaking louder than any words ever could. The life you're living, the strides you're making, the obstacles you're overcoming. All of that is creating an energy that others cannot ignore. Your name is mentioned and suddenly people are shifting in their seats, unsure of how to respond. Why? Because they can't deny what they see. Remember those who underestimated you? The ones who dismissed you as unimportant or incapable? Well, now they're struggling to keep their composure around you. It's as if they can no longer reconcile the person they once knew with the powerful force you've become. And that's okay. Their discomfort is not your burden to bear. It's simply the byproduct of your growth. Your name is carrying weight, and others are feeling the pressure. You see, your success isn't just about you. It's a reflection of God's hand on your life. The more you walk in your purpose, the more others will be forced to confront their own insecurities. It's not that they dislike you, it's that they can't handle what you represent, elevation. You're a living, breathing testament to what happens when someone steps into their divine calling. You don't need to prove anything to anyone. Your name is already doing the work. It's creating ripples in the atmosphere, shaking the very foundation of those who thought they could keep you in a box. Every time they hear your name, they are reminded of the power that's within you. It's undeniable, and it's making them rethink everything they thought they knew about you. 
And here's the beautiful thing. You don't have to force this. You don't have to make people see who you've become. They already know. The pressure your name brings is enough to make them pay attention. Whether they want to admit it or not, they feel your presence. And that's more powerful than any words you could ever say. Chosen ones, rest in this truth. Your name is bringing pressure. Let it do its work. Let it shake the foundations of those around you. You don't have to do a thing but keep walking in your calling. God has already gone before you, and the path is clear. The ripple effect your name is causing goes far beyond what you can see in the physical. In the spiritual realm, your name is sending out waves that break down barriers, open doors, and shift atmospheres. You may feel the tension around you, but know this. The tension is proof that God is stretching you into the fullness of your calling. It's the weight of your anointing pressing against the boundaries of the world's limitations. Think of the stories of the greats, those who walked before you. They too carried a name that brought pressure. From the prophets of old to the seers of today, their names were heavy with the destiny they carried. Like you, their presence alone caused others to question, to fear and to change. You are following in those same footsteps, and the weight of your name is a testament to the power that flows through you. And remember this, pressure is not a burden, it's a sign of expansion. Just like a seed breaks through the soil, using pressure to grow toward the light, you too are breaking through barriers that were meant to hold you back. The more pressure your name brings, the more you are being stretched into new realms of influence. Don't shy away from it. Embrace it, for this pressure is shaping you into the person God has always intended you to be. There's something powerful about silence, isn't there? Especially when it comes from the very people who once had so much to say about you. Chosen ones, those who mocked you, slandered you, or doubted you are now silent. And that silence, it speaks louder than any words they could have said. Imagine this, the same people who couldn't stop talking about your failures are now sitting in the background watching your rise in awe. They've gone quiet because they know, deep down, they were wrong about you. They see your growth, your success, your transformation, and they're left speechless. It's not that they've suddenly changed their opinion, it's that they can't deny what's right in front of them. Their silence is proof of your power. It's proof that the pressure your name brings has left them with nothing to say. They can't criticize you without revealing their own insecurities. They can't talk down about you without exposing their own failures. So instead, they choose silence. But don't be fooled. That silence is louder than anything they've said before. Think about how their pride is keeping them from admitting it. They don't want to acknowledge your success because doing so would mean admitting they were wrong. But even in their silence, they know the truth. They can't escape the reality of who you've become. Your presence alone is enough to leave them speechless. This is how you know that God has been working behind the scenes. He has silenced your critics, not by force but by elevation. Your rise is the reason they've gone quiet. They're watching you from the sidelines, unable to reconcile what they once believed about you with the reality of your greatness. And that's okay. Their silence is all the confirmation you need. Chosen ones, take this silence as a sign that you are on the right path. Your name is bringing pressure, and those who once doubted you are feeling the weight of it. They may never say it out loud, but their silence is all the validation you need. Keep moving forward knowing that God has already silenced your critics. And remember this, you don't need their approval. You don't need their acknowledgement. The fact that they've gone silent is proof enough that you are walking in your purpose. Let that silence speak for itself. Keep rising, keep shining, and know that their silence is a testament to the power in your name. Silence often holds more power than words. When people can no longer criticize or speak against you, their silence becomes the loudest affirmation of your growth. In that quiet, they are forced to reckon with the reality of who you've become. Their silence is not indifference, it's a subtle surrender to the truth they can no longer deny. And while they may never voice their acknowledgement, their actions, or lack thereof, are all the proof you need. Remember the old adage, actions speak louder than words. Well, in this case, inaction speaks volumes, 
The absence of their negativity is a clear sign that they can no longer fight against the tide of your success. Their silence is a quiet nod to the undeniable power that your name now holds. God has not only silenced your enemies, he has elevated you to a place where their words no longer carry any weight. But here's something even more powerful to reflect on. Their silence is your victory. Each moment they hold their tongues, unable to speak against you, is a confirmation that your journey is divinely protected. God has ensured that every attempt to diminish your light has failed. And now, their silence is the evidence of that defeat. Their quiet awe is a testament to the truth that no one can stop what God has set into motion. October, Chosen Ones, is a month of transformation. This is the season where the hidden is revealed, where what was once concealed comes to light. The pressure that your name has been bringing, it's reaching a tipping point. Those who wronged you, those who spoke against you, they are feeling the weight of their actions like never before. Picture this, you run into someone who once doubted you, someone who tried to block your path, and when they see you, they are speechless. They can't find the words because the person standing before them is not the same person they once knew. The transformation is undeniable, and they are left grappling with their own disbelief. How could this be the same person they tried to hold down? This is the power of October's transformation. What was hidden is being revealed. Your growth, your elevation, it's all coming to the surface for the world to see. Those who once doubted you are now forced to confront the truth of who you are, and they can't handle it. The pressure your name brings has left them with no choice but to face the reality of your greatness. But here's the thing. You may not see all of this in the physical yet. That's okay. The spiritual work is being done behind the scenes. The pressure is mounting, and soon enough, it will manifest in ways you can't even imagine. People are feeling it, even if they don't say it. The weight of your name is creating ripples in the spiritual realm, and those ripples are starting to break through to the physical. Chosen Ones, this is your month of transformation. This is the time when everything shifts in your favor. The pressure your name has been bringing is finally coming to a head, and those who wronged you will have no choice but to face the consequences of their actions. The truth is being revealed, and there's no stopping it. Even if you can't see it, trust that the transformation is happening. Your name is too powerful for anyone to ignore. The pressure it brings is undeniable, and it's making waves far beyond what you can see. God is working behind the scenes, setting the stage for your rise. So keep walking in your purpose, chosen ones. October is your time. Your name is making waves, and the transformation that's happening is leaving people speechless. Let them watch in awe as you continue to rise. Think of this moment as a spiritual unveiling. What was once hidden behind the veil of doubt and disbelief is now coming to light. The person you've become is a testament to the inner work you've done, the battles you fought in silence, and the faith that has carried you through. October is not just a month of physical change, but a time of spiritual revelation, where the truth of your journey is laid bare for all to see. Consider this. The universe operates in cycles, and October marks the beginning of a new cycle for you. The pressure that your name brings is the spark that ignites this transformation, setting off a chain reaction of events that will lead to your elevation. Those who once doubted you will be forced to reckon with the undeniable truth that you were destined for greatness all along. Let this month be the turning point where the hidden is revealed and your name shines brighter than ever. And here's the beauty of this transformation. It's permanent. October is not just a momentary shift, but a foundational change in your life. The old limitations, the doubts, the blocks, they are being stripped away for good. What emerges is the fully empowered version of yourself, ready to step into the fullness of your destiny. The transformation that began in the spiritual realm is now solidifying in the physical, and it's only the beginning of what God has in store for you. Your name holds power and it brings pressure. You don't need to prove a single thing to anyone. Just keep moving forward in your purpose. God has silenced your critics and your rise will speak for itself. So trust in the process. Know that your name is enough to bring transformation. Keep walking in your calling and watch as God continues to leave people speechless because of you.